gonna do a project today that I've been putting off for a while. My garage door is completely collapsed. You can see that it is totally bent out of shape here. And I'm going to have to uh, rebuild it. So my options are, I could uh, get a roll up door, but as you can see in, inside here, it's only five feet deep because I converted the garage to a room. So I uh, only have five feet of uh, space in here. So a roll up uh, won't work because I don't have it deep enough. So uh, I could do what I have here and just do another uh, flip door. But um, I decided on putting a swing outdoors and making it uh, four sections. So. I'm going to dismantle this now and see uh, where we go from there. So I don't have a real plan, I'm just kind of making it up as I go. So let's see what happens. Went to Home Depot and uh, bought me my first batch of lumber to start this project. So I was able to fit it all in the car here. So we'll be unloading it and get started here. Okay, well my plan is here is to build uh, four sections, four feet long each. And I'll have a one, two, three, four. And so when I open it up, it'll fold and so it won't come all the way out. It just come out four feet. And uh, so that's the first plan. Now I'm gonna make the framing. I bought some two by fours, some hinges, and measured the, the height and okay, the width. I and lumber for that my first uh, door that I make. Like I said, I'll make four sections. Did the measuring of the, of the opening of the door arch door. And of course, because my house shifts and moves and stuff, it is not square. So I have to make some slight adjustments uh, to make this fit. So I'm gonna take uh, two, or one uh, two by four and cut it in half four feet long. Those would be the two inch pieces. And then I'll cut three 76 and a half inches for the length. Then I'll put some facing boards, uh, breaking boards in between. I'm going to cut my first board. It's going to be the four feet on each side. So right down the middle, I measured it is exactly eight feet. So if I cut this right, I'll have my two four foot ones. And just to check it out, line it up on the edges. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is uh, take the bottom 2x4 and uh, the 4 foot length I made, putting rollers on the base. So I'm going to put those just off center, screw, drill a few screws in there, and uh, that'll be the base so it rolls in and out and takes the weight off uh, hanging on the hinge. Drill starter holes so I put screws in without splitting the wood. So lining the board up. And next, so uh, using three and a half inch uh, deck screws, and uh, so. That's gonna go in there pretty far and hold this thing together a lot better. Okay, I got everything uh, screwed on. So now it's time to put on a hinge. So I'll be fastening it with uh, bolts 
in here. And uh, okay, uh, I got the uh, hinges on both sides. So uh, now I'll make uh, another section. Well, I'm going to make four more sections, but I'll make a, one more to attach here, and then I'll do the reverse on the other side. So, um, so far it's looking okay. Of course, the, uh, the house is in square, so I'll, when I put the, my facing over here, I'll try to adjust it so it looks uh, cosmetically correct. So, that's okay, I got the hinges on here. In here, let's see if the thing works. Ah, rolls right out, and the other section up too. So, the first half of uh, the framing's done. Now, I gotta buy some facing and go over to I finished the framing. So far, so have it all together. So, this opens up. Like such, and opens up again. So, now I have to take it down, and I bought myself some uh, facing boards. Cut, went to bought four by eight panels, and I had the Home Depot cut them up in uh, two foot by eight panels, so uh, it was easier for me to put in the car, of course. I Got the doors attached, and they're uh, rolling out and stuff. So now um, I'm going to put the uh, trim along the edges here. So I'll be doing that lengthwise over, down the middle, and uh, just kind of creating it as I go. So once again, I'm making this up as I go. So I'm going to start off with putting them on just around the corners, then I'll go from there. There we go, all finished. Uh, last thing I did is put on these handles, and before that, I put on the trim, going all the way around, all, all through the thing. Now, I had to take the doors back off again and, and put the trim on because the hinges wouldn't work right uh, unless I had the trim on first. So, a mistake I made. So, don't do that same thing because it's a lot of extra work. So, the project's done. This just goes to show you the 60 year old man like myself can do this with no background in carpentry or anything like that. I just made up the, how I was going to do it myself and uh, you know, buy all the materials at Home Depot. It just goes to show you that I can do it, you can do it. So get out there. If you need to do a garage door, you could do it and you could save a lot of money. It cost me about, uh, about $350 for all the parts and if I bought it had somebody do it, it would have been a thousand dollars or something. So you save a lot of money by doing it yourself. You can do it if I can do it. Get out there and do it.